Hello and welcome to my tour of a standard balcony cabin on board Queen Mary 2. In this video we're going to be taking a look around cabin 6289 which is an enclosed balcony cabin on deck 6 starboard side. So let's get into the tour. As we enter this Britannia enclosed balcony cabin on deck 6 you can see that for a standard balcony cabin it's a pretty decent size. You get a generous 267 square feet in surface area and this cabin can sleep up to three people as the sofa converts into a single bed. I like the decor of this cabin, it's light and airy and has an abundance of amenities which I'll go through in a second. One thing this cabin isn't lacking in is storage. You get a full length double wardrobe with a massive upper shelf which is handy for storing small cases used for hand luggage and Cunard give you a generous amount of hangers, so there's no need to bring your own on this ship. You also get given two Cunard dressing gowns and complimentary Cunard slippers, a nice little touch. In the next door you have some shelves. The one at the top is occupied by life jackets and another is taken up by the digital safe, meaning you have two usable shelves. The safe is massive and is large enough to accommodate laptops and iPads etc. At the bottom of this unit you have four large drawers. And in the last door you have some more shelves, not much to say really. As usual, on the back of the cabin door, you have information displaying what to do in an emergency and the location of your muster station. On the left side of the bathroom door, you have the unit for the climate control. Heading into the bathroom, the decor is pretty pleasant. However, in terms of size, it's a bit pokey like most cruise ship bathrooms. You get a large mirror above the wash basin and the shower is pretty standard with a lovely germ-ridden shower curtain, which I hate to see. The cabin gets a selection of Penn Halligan's luxury toiletries, including hand soap, shampoo, shower gel and body lotion. You have a couple of very small glass shelves to store your toiletries and essentials, and there's a couple of glasses fixed to the bulkhead to keep your toothbrush. Moving further down, you can see a socket for electric razors and toothbrushes and underneath that, you have the bin and some cupboards with some shelving. Heading back into the living area, you get tea and coffee making facilities including a kettle, two glasses and two Wedgwood crockery mugs. You get biscuits given to you every day by your cabin steward, provided you eat them. Lower down you have a drawer which houses the hair dryer, a shallow drawer perfect to keep your various paperwork and stationery, and a mini fridge with a small bottle of complimentary sparkling wine. It's a shame that Cunard have got rid of the genuine champagne that they used to give you. In terms of plug sockets, you get two British three pin sockets and two American sockets. Each bedside cabinet gets a small shallow drawer and a large single shelf underneath to keep your bedtime read. You get a 38 inch Samsung TV, however disappointingly it is not interactive and features a very limited amount of news channels. Moving out onto the enclosed balcony, it is a really decent size, much more spacious than you get on more modern cruise ships of today. You get two upright chairs and a small table. So that was our review of a Britannia enclosed balcony cabin on Queen Mary 2. Overall a pretty nice cabin, however the fact that Cunard still don't offer an interactive TV shows that their cabins and the facilities they offer are falling behind the standards set by their competitors. If you liked our video, please give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.